Hello, this is Dr. Brain again, continuing with our neuroanatomy study. We've just finished the pontomedullary junction. Now, if we take a slice from the caudal pons, or mid to caudal pons, right through the facial colliculus, we'll have this section. Now, this is a very important section uh, for budding neurologists and people interested in neurology because there are a lot of structures here which I'll need to point out. To begin with, if we divide the pons approximately in this region here, we'll see that the portion here is the base, and above this level we'll call the tegmentum. So pontine tegmentum and pontine base. To begin with, let's divide the pons in this region. Below this region will be the pontine base, and above this region is the pontine tegmentum. Now, to begin with, this little bump here is called the facial colliculus. The facial colliculus is an elevation in the floor of the pons which is there because of the facial nerve fibers going over the sixth nerve nucleus. So we have the facial colliculus and then one of the very important structures, the abducens nucleus. This is the seventh cranial nerve exiting. This is the spinal trigeminal tract the spinal trigeminal nucleus. Fibers of the sixth nerve nucleus exiting. Our very important medial lemniscus. And the most lateral aspect, uh, sort of attached to the medial lemniscus in this region here, is the lateral spinothalamic tract. We can see a little bit of the facial nucleus here and here, giving rise, of course, to the facial nerve. And then in the bases of the pons, we have the very important descending motor fibers, which at this level contain fibers of the cortical spinal tract, the cortical bulbar tract, and the cortical pontine tracts. And the gray matter in between here are all of the nuclei which are giving rise to axons which go into the middle cerebellar peduncle on both sides. And we also have a bit of dentate nucleus of the cerebellum on this side. For a brief review of function, the sixth nerve nucleus, those neurons giving rise to the abducens nerve, innervating the lateral rectus muscle. The facial nu nucleus giving rise to the facial nerve, which will innervate the muscles of the face. The spinal trigeminal nucleus and tract, of course carrying pain and temperature fibers from the face. The medial lemniscus, carrying vibration, two-point discrimination, and conscious proprioception from the body. The lateral spinothalamic tract, carrying pain and temperature from the body. And the descending motor system, containing fibers from the motor cortex, area four of the brain, the voluntary motor system. But in addition to that, there are fibers here that constitute the cortical bulbar tract and the cortical pontine tract. The dentate nucleus is one of the major nuclei of the cerebellum. This nucleus is an output nucleus going to the thalamus and also a portion of the red nucleus. Let's continue now with an additional slide from the 
ponds, this time a more rostral section.